this is my my final image of uh, of a picture I took today. Um, so I'm going to take you through the process, the editing process, um, using Lightroom and Photoshop of how we we got to this final image. Well, good afternoon. It's Sunday. Um, Sunday, which means I've been a walk in the woods. Um, same woods as before, Deerfold Wood in uh, Worcestershire. Um, now I plan to go here anyway, and I plan to do another little video, um, you know, with the GoPro filming, showing you what I was doing. Um, but in the process of packing up, um, I wanted to find my little GoPro selfie stick. And could I find it? I could not find it anywhere. I searched and searched and searched the house, couldn't find it. Um, <clears throat> and anyway, I come to the conclusion that I probably left it behind in the woodland, um, which is not the first time I've done a stupid thing like that. Anyway, went back this morning, um, walked around this woodland for three hours. Three hours I was searching and searching and searching. And I, I, I was on the verge of giving up on about three occasions. On the very last occasion, I decided, no, let's have one last go. It was, I think it was about a quarter to 12. I was getting hungry. Went back in the woodland and I found it. I found that original tree stump from the last video. And, uh, and there was my selfie stick. So I was very, very happy. Um, but in the middle, um, while I was searching for that blasted GoPro selfie stick, I found this little clump of uh, fruiting bodies on an old ash coppice and I thought they looked rather pretty and, and these are the shots I've just loaded up um, so there's number one there's number two number three now it's very windy it was very windy in this woodland so I've had to use a high shutter speed which meant I had to increase my ISO um, I was on ISO 640 when I was doing these um, so they're yeah they're a little bit a little bit grainy than I would hope for, but it meant I could freeze these fruiting bodies which were blown around like the clappers. So I've taken lots of different images. Camera set up on the tripod. Um, if you have a look down here as I scroll through the images, you will see the leaves blowing around, which might be a problem. Um, there you go that one to that one so the fruiting bodies have moved slightly um, but the leaves are blowing around all over the place um, I've also got a spider's web showing up there which we, we can get rid of that no problem um, get rid of that in Lightroom um, so taking lots of images of these I also had a play on this section here uh, using my little LED light uh, placed on the ground pointing upwards um, so first image focused on that one second image focused on behind third image focused on top fourth image I was behind again uh, and then we moved on I was just messing about again focusing on that's quite nice. I only took one, two, three on those. Um, and that'll be, let's zoom out, that'll be a separate little image. So I've got one whole image. I've got another little image I can create out of this section here. And then another little image I can create out of these. Um, absolutely beautiful. And uh, if I came back, Within 24 hours, these these would have been either damaged by rain or eaten by deer. Um, I, I you know, managed to catch these perfectly. So we're going to overlay, overlay. So one, two, three, four, five, probably five images. So we'll select those, go five, four, three, two, one. And let's export those. Uh, 
I'm not going to watermark them. I'm not going to export them as JPEG. I'm going to export them in uh, Adobe's own format. Let's choose a file. That's the one I created. Thumb fungi, 30th of the 10th, 22. Let's call this, uh, we'll call it light ring. And off they go. So you'll see me again um, in Photoshop, opening up these images. Uh, we'll try to align them and then we'll try to lay them one on top of the other. Well, let's load up some images. So load scripts. Uh, we'll load those into a stack. Browse. I've been out and bought myself a new microphone, so hopefully my sound will be a little bit better. Uh, I always book back my images, images up into Passport. Uh, we called it Lightroom, didn't we? So there we go. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> Not too many, so we shouldn't clog up Photoshop. And it should work reasonably quickly. I'm annoyed about that leaf down there. Look, uh, it will be. Oh, we could probably get rid of that. We probably need to. Um, we could crop the image. Or we could leave it in. But it's kind of annoying. That is. Love the background there. That's beautiful. The light shining through. Uh, I use a little bit of external light from my LED torch, um, just to lighten up things. Now these fruiting bodies that they, they were moving they were moving in the wind um, it was very windy in the woods um, so I've used a high ISO and a much higher shutter speed that I normally would um, so they're probably going to be a little bit grainier than I'd hoped so let's select these images one two three four five Let's edit these uh, auto align layers. And let's see if I bumped into that tripod. Hopefully not. Oh, made a few changes. Okay, so these pictures are already be selected. So we'll go for edit, auto blend layers, stack images. Press OK, and hopefully this little group here uh, will be nice and sharp. The ones behind will be in soft focus, of course, because I didn't focus on those. But hopefully we'll have a little clump of nice sharp images. Right, and there we go. Have we got nice sharp images? I think, I think we will have. Shall we zoom in? Sharp, 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 sharp. Yep, I'm happy with that. Not happy with the spider's web, but hey ho. I mean, those are beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. Now, you might think, why why bother, you know, taking a photograph, focusing on that fruiting body, on that fruiting body, on that fruiting body, on that fruiting body, and going for all this fuff and kerfaffle, um, processing them, where that, you could argue, is, is, a, is a nice picture. Um, well, it is a nice picture, um, but we're only focused on one fruiting body, which is that one there. Um, personally, I would like to see one, two, three, four little fruiting bodies nicely in focus. Um, they're very pretty fruiting bodies. You know, why not see them all in focus? 
Um, I don't want to see everything in focus. That would look rubbish. Um, but you know, let's see. Let's see a few of them in focus, and that's why I do it uh, manually, um, taking you know three or four or five images, and then layering them on top of one another. You could do it in camera. Um, and indeed, someone asked me on, on YouTube, you know, why don't I, you know, why don't I do it in camera? Save all this kerfuffle. Um, well, personally, I like control. Um, I like to know what I'm selecting, what I'm focusing on. So hence, hence doing it the way I do it. So right, we need to um, load up. So we need to import. Those fungi, 30th of the 10th. Fungi, 30th of the 10th. And we put, we opened up a little folder called Lightroom. There we go, unedited one PSD. That's the one we want. So deselect those little fellas. And let's have a look. So this is going to be my my base image, which is a combination of five different images, and this is going to be the one that we're going to be working on. Yeah, see, I like that. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven little fruiting bodies, nicely in focus, and the leaf that's annoying the hell out of me down the bottom. So first thing, let's go on to develop and let's crop this image. So use our crop tool up there, top right. Let's just, I do want to get rid of those borders that Photoshop have drawn on for me. Now can we, yeah, we can probably crop that leaf. See that leaf there, look. Let's crop that out of the way and get rid. nice you can just see the top of the leaf down there look so let's get rid of that let's zap that alter my size boom gone and let's have a look at this annoying cobweb so again we're going to try and zap an annoying cobweb this might work it might not yeah not as neat as i'd hoped okay edit undo spot removal Let's have one more go. No, that's gonna not, not gonna work, not gonna work. Well it's better. The other option is to um, leave it in. We can certainly get rid of this little one down here. Oh, do like it when it works. A 
That's better. That's better. There you go. You wouldn't know that was there. That's better. So let's have a look. A little bit of texture. What about clarity? I don't like using too much clarity. There you go. That's what it looks like when you use too much clarity. A little bit of white. I'm quite happy with that. 